I'm getting out of trucking. Or at least, I won't say it so harshly. Um, I'm going to have to take a break from trucking. I'm just kind of tired of it. And dealing with dispatchers. Dispatchers don't care. They just want their loads delivered. They don't care what the conditions are on the road. They don't care what's going on. They don't care how many hours you're out there. Um, it's Sunday night and they called me to confirm a load. But I had to tell them and I had to tell them um, I got to gracefully bow out. So on Friday, um, I started my day like around 6.30, 6.45. And I didn't get home till like 9 o'clock, 9.30, 9 o'clock. Let's call it 9 o'clock. That's too goddamn long to be driving. Um, and quiet is kept. Most of the companies that I've worked for I don't hear people talk about it a lot, but trucking companies tend to have to be some of the most unprofessional, have some of the most unprofessional company structures and the most unprofessional business practices is the best way I can put it um, in the world. Um, They like to cut corners and, you know, it varies from company to company, but I've dealt with companies with the worst equipment in the world. You tell them about it, they don't care. Even though it's affecting the job, I've had to leave a job for that. Now this job, um, you know, they rope you in, they tell you one thing about the hours or whatever, what have you, and it's totally different once you start working. Um, I just need a break. And I'm just tired. Uh, maybe I'll go back to driving at some point. I'll, of course, I'll keep my my license good, but I'm going to have to find something else to do um, to make money because it's just so exhausting, exhausting, exhausting. I've had, I had some really, really good jobs when I first um, got into trucking that I loved and maybe I was spoiled um, with new equipment and, and decent pay. But um, ever since I moved back to Massachusetts, these companies um, so far that I've been working for are really not good companies and they do not care about the employees. Um, at the same time, this isn't even this isn't really the economy to be like quitting your job without another job, but I've kind of had enough and um, I think I'm just going to have to risk it and get out there and um, do what I got to do to like rebound or whatever, whatever got to be done. You know what I'm saying? Hit the pavement, be a, be a man and and handle it. Um, so this is supposed to be this job that I have right now. It's supposed to be a local job. And I live in um, currently I live in um, central Massachusetts. And they sent me all the way to Maine, like really, really deep, deep up in Maine. And for those that don't know the that distance, it's it was basically they sent me like 250 miles away. Um, now, I wouldn't even mind it if I was going to Maine and coming right back. But they sent me to Maine and had me driving around Maine, like picking up and dropping off things in Maine, like. Which just made it like way worse, you know what I'm saying? And um I mean, I don't want to seem like I'm complaining. A job is a job. This is trucking and all that. But this isn't what I was. 
this isn't what I um what they describe the job to be. This that's basically to me, um, that's regional and I didn't sign on for regional. I'm a single dad. I need to be home for my daughter. And um I wasn't I wasn't happy with what with that. Um and I almost didn't make it make it home because my clock ran out of time. Actually I had to um they had to give me extra time on my clock with the um adverse conditions um clause. Truckers will know more about that. But yeah, it was just just as a whole, like I'm finding that um, a lot of these trucking companies are bullshit and they don't want to pay for the work and the expertise that us truckers have. And I find that the pay is not growing with the economy. Um, I think the only way, one of the only ways I think I'm going to come back to trucking is if I actually buy my own truck and I can uh, make m more money. Um, but as far as being a company guy, I don't think so. I don't think so.